Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, Amidst the Ruins. Or Amid the Ruins. I think they just wanted to reference Omid. Instead of Amidst, they used Amid, which I don't even know if that's a correct word or not. I'm assuming it is, giving them the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, last time... You're going to be a good mom. We sure have come a long way since we first met, huh? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust him, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on him. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Okay, so now that we're back where we were last time, I guess we're gonna go see Mike and Bonnie. Wait, I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of that criminal duo of something and Bonnie. Clyde, was it Clyde and Bonnie? I don't know. I'm thinking... I think it's a completely different name. Clyde and somebody. I don't know. <laughs> oh crap, I didn't talk to Sarah. Well, that's a... Oh well. well. <laughs> she probably wouldn't have changed anything anyway. To be fair. I hope they check to make sure they're all dead. Because I'm, I'm not. <laughs> hey, Clem. I thought you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a... a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Right. Well, I, apparently we're searching the museum now. For what? I don't know. <laughs> I want to learn things. Jane said these don't work anymore. Nah. They're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Hey, man. If, as, long as, if, as long as it blows away like 20 at once, it'd be fine, but I don't think it would with those tiny little musket, or tiny little cannonballs. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. <sighs> Good point. Yeah, I'm just kind of going on everything that has a, a a mark on it so I can see what it says, basically. There's no rhyme or... Maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Empty. Never mind. Oh, does Mikey like Bonnie? <laughs> hey, you know, love... There sure been some animals through here. Watch where you're set. Yeah, I ain't gonna... Uh, you, you, if you do, Mike, you have a very... very different outlook on romantic interests than I would. Bonnie's a nice-looking lass, but she... Uh... Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't trust her. I'm only... We would have loved this place. Well, I mean, not this. I mean, she did help us escape. I tell you, I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. The way things are now, you're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. I'm beginning to trust Bonnie a little more, but it's a slow road back from when you betrayed me. If she does it again, though, she's screwed, in my book. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. I do like her accent, though. Then again, I've always been... There's not really a good southern accent. It's just kind of one of those voice actor accents that seem like they're trying to do a southern accent, but they're, it's not really that good, but I still like it. Then again, I like girls with southern accents. I, I find it sexy, personally. Probably more information than you really need to know, but, uh... There you go. <laughs> anyway, Mikey boy, you seem to be the only one left to talk to or do anything with, so, uh, how you doing over here? I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Oh good. So we're just gonna... I guess just look around, because I don't know what else to do now. <laughs> what? What am I doing? 
I don't know. Walking around a museum. I really wish there was like a, I, I don't know, like a, a run button, but th there's no run button. There's just, I can push different buttons and a little hand icon comes up and then, oh, here we go. If I hit left trigger, it actually shows up the, um, the, the stingies. Hey, look at this, an old coat. Nice, good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. You didn't think about it because you're not a racist, that's why. Oh, snap, did I just call Mike a racist? Well, I mean, he kind of made it about it. <laughs> That's politically dividing, but I don't really give a crap. I might see my whole thing was, you know, make sure she doesn't fucking die. <laughs> that was my whole thing, but apparently Mikey Boy thinks it's more important to make a political statement. Okay, I'm not being fair now, but still. That just seems like a, really? Really, Mike? <laughs> this is what you're going after? The, fe the color of it? Ah, come on, man. It's the end of the world. Why you gotta bring that up? What's in here? Besides, I doubt Clem even knows what in the world the, you know, conf like what, she's like 12, like, when did the zombie apocalypse happen when she was 11? I doubt they taught her about the Confederacy and the, the Union, <laughs> you know, by that point. Probably should have looked through that first, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I can't look through it either way. Is that water? Over here. Water! Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. Can you at least look through there first before you crawl in? No, we're just gonna crawl right in. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... My feet. That happened. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. No problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. You think she's gonna be able to carry that? Ah. <laughs> That thing probably weighs as much as she does. You're gonna give yourself a hernia. I got this. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's alright. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shells were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. 
We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Oh, uh, crap. Who's... Come on. Stick close. Who's here now? Is it Arvo coming back? I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. What? Not like... I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! I just kind of guessed. I had no idea where it went. Oh! Oh! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, it does. There's a few folks that could use a hot meal. It's probably for the better. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. You expect me to sympathize with the raccoon and its babies? I don't care about the raccoon and his babies, I care about the human beings. You're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit, oh god! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. Clementine, where's the place you and Jane found? I'll show you. Good. Someone help me out. Oh, God, there's so many. We uh, uh, gotta get out of here. I'm not dying like this. Mike, get Sarah! On it! Sarah! Get going! Fine. He's just causing a distraction. You have a little faith over there. Oh hell. <laughs> this would be why I told you to go before this whole thing happened. But no. No, you couldn't listen to me. Couldn't listen to common sense. I almost forgot what. Oh, Clementine. for fuck's sake. G Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um. Uh, we were just. Yeah. Clem, listen. Uh, Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh, Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right Shit. over here. Shit. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. Uh, we should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here! I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. 
Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. Finally done now. I mean, I've just sacrificed Sarah's life because I couldn't possibly save her. Are we are we done with the shitstorm yet? I would like for you to say we're done. Oh. oh no. Let me guess. Stillborn. It's probably not a very nice guess, but it ain't crying. Cause then again, I didn't cry when I came out either. So. You like me, kid? Are you like me and you didn't cry when you came out? <laughs> Yep, it is. <gasps> Except I was, uh, you know, a C-section, but, yeah. You know, point is, I didn't cry when I came out. In fact, I never cried as a baby unless I was hurt. No, literally, my mother used to tell my babysitters, if he's crying, he's hurt. I never cried as a kid. <laughs> that baby's like me, at least so far. Except he's crying now, so there went that. <laughs> I, don't think, I think that's fussing, not crying, but oh boy. Finally did it, even though Sarah died and I feel shitty about what I did. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? No. Definitely. <laughs> no, I don't. Thank you. It's Carver's baby looking at it. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? I'm lying to make her feel better. Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Exactly. Do you want to hold him? I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. There you go. You're a natural. 
Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Oh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Amniotic fluid? I guess not. I'm sure she's just going to get air. She's not leaving. I'm lying, of course. I think she's leaving. <laughs> that would go with her character so far. I'm just saying what we're all thinking now. Maybe not. I might be wrong. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Damn it. I knew I was right. <laughs> Come on. The longer I stay, the harder it'll be. Yeah. It is what it is. What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Oh. Well, that's it then. You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not going to stick around and watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'm not like them. No. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. But make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove, you'll see. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I gotta go. Well, I can't say I didn't see this coming. I kind of called it, not but about a minute ago. <laughs>